Hi everybody, my name is Rachid Obrik and in this uh, short video I will just explore the differences between using MATLAB, uh, the inbuilt MATLAB function versus CPLEX as the solvers for the POP toolbox. Now this is a, this is a very nice example of where you can see how uh, a commercial tool like CPLEX is pretty superior to the inbuilt functions of MATLAB. So in general one can always say that MATLAB is, is really great and matrix uh, operation stuff, linear algebra stuff. Um, but when it comes to optimization, constraints handling, and so on and so forth, um, uh, or nonlinear stuff in general, uh, then they're far less robust and far less high quality than, for instance, something like CPLEX. And now let me add that that if you're an academic, then you have access to CPLEX um under the academic initiative and if you're not an academic then um you might have access to it as well if there's something called the commodity edition now uh so so in any case whenever you're using any type of optimization i strongly strongly uh suggest to you that you use cplex instead of matlab whenever possible now to illustrate this point let's look at this um small problem right here. So this is an optimization, uh, an MPQP problem. Um, so we have two optimization variables, we have eight constraints and we have two parameters. So this is a really, really tiny problem. Um, this is really, really small. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve this problem once with MATLAB and once with CPLEX. And we're going to look at the difference. And there is a difference. So if we look at the um, our option set function, okay, so where we set the options for for the uh, for the pop toolbox, then you can see I've set the LP solver and QP solver to be MATLAB, and we're using a geometrical algorithm, okay. And we'll play around with these options now to see how this changes. So uh, under these options, if we solve the problem that I just discussed, then um, what we get is that we have four regions. In fact, when we run this, let us also display the time just to get an idea of how long does it take. So solving this, for instance, now takes close to two seconds. Okay, and now in order to check whether this is correct, we let run verify solution, um, as explained in another in another video, uh, and we run this now. And um, as you will see, is that the solution is in fact not verified, as there are points which are not correct. Okay, so once this has run, we will see that this is in fact doesn't hold up. Okay, so we have 23 points out of 5,000, so it's not that much, but still, where the solution is not accurate. Okay, so now let's look at it com as a comparison. Let's use CPLEX as the solve problem, okay? So we put CPLEX in here, okay? save it and we solve the same problem okay note the other time it took around two seconds this takes about 0 0.15 okay so that's more than an order of magnitude okay this is this is already one huge difference between the two but you can also note that we now have six regions previously we had four and as you might imagine if we run verify solution on this this actually gives the correct solution as we will see in a minute Right, so this gives the correct solution, and you can see that. So this is really, really the strength of CPLEX. And note, this is not a big problem. This is a very small problem that you have, and simply by changing the solver, you a might get an order of magnitude or more of uh, higher efficiency, which has nothing to do with the implementation of POP, and as well, you get the more correct results. Now, uh, to just briefly show you, for instance, if we use the graph-based algorithm then uh, the same thing happens if we use now CPLEX again we get six um, time wise we're around the same uh, order of magnitude and now if we change again to MATLAB then um, we run this and we see that we even now get only two solutions okay so this is really a huge difference uh, simply by changing the solver. So if we use CPLEX, then we get the correct solution. But if we use MATLAB, we don't. And now just to, finally, let's also check the combinatorial algorithm. 
now if we use MATLAB then um, we get four solutions again again is not the correct solution uh, and we have a total of 0 0.4 uh, seconds of solution but then again we don't get this full solution whereas if we use um, CPLEX then we get the correct solution and it's significantly faster again it's an about an order of magnitude faster so this is just a small video just to show you that when you use um, pop always try to use CPLEX um, I've not shown the same thing for the MPMIQP but it should be fairly obvious that uh, when it doesn't work for the MPQP well then it also doesn't work well for the MPMIQP um, so uh, this is this is just to remind you always try to use CPLEX and if you don't have access to CPLEX take use the solution you get from pop with utmost care